What is up, guys? How are we all doing today? Everybody make it through Tuesday okay? Good. So, what we're going to do here, this is a little cool one. I'm going to put my own little spin on protein pancakes. I know everyone's seen them six ways till Sunday, but we're going to check them out this way. I'm just going to make a small batch. It's just me, and I'm hungry, and I'm going to eat them real quick. So, here we go. Let's get started. Um, we're going to go half a cup of wheat flour. I'm not using protein pancake mix. Um, like I said, we're going to go a different way about this. It's going to be really cool. And then, real quick, we're going to throw in a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And before we add the wet ingredients, we're going to mix up all of our dry stuff real quick. So, this is going to be simple and quick and easy to do. I'm not about getting over complicated just yet. But we are going to have a little fun with this one. So I've got my dry stuff mixed together. And next thing we're going to do two tablespoons of pumpkin. Not using butter, I don't like it. It's a lot of calories. Take that out, you put in the pumpkin, you get a ton less calories, and it still tastes really good, and it's, it still has the consistency that you would if you were gonna throw butter in it. And that's kind of the whole deal behind this anyway. So. When you mix in the pumpkin, it's basically just gonna coat with the pumpkin with stuff. The pumpkin is gonna turn into these little crumbly balls of stuff and not mix in. And it basically makes it like this halfway mess. That's fine, it's more that's how it's supposed to be. So once it looks like that mess that I just described, we are heading in the right direction. Now it's time to add a half a cup of egg whites. And now once we get this going, it's actually going to look like, pro like pancake batter. I used a bowl that's way too tiny, so I gotta be super careful about mixing it. But I'm getting towards the end of my day and I'm super hungry, so I'm just whipping these up real quick. Cake batter and we threw that together in like what a minute, two minutes. I'm all about keeping it healthy, quick, simple, and tasting really good. Now, where we're gonna have some fun with this is since it's one of my low carb days and I get a bunch of extra fats, macadamia nuts. Oh, yeah, we're getting. We're gonna have fun with this. 
All right, so we've got our pan heating up. Our mix ready to go. And our macadamia nuts added. And this looks like it's gonna make two really big pancakes. So what we've got here is a quarter of a cup of macadamia nuts. So we're gonna put about an eighth in each. I don't put it right into the batter. I wanna get the pancakes started and then add the nuts to it so they kind of sit in the middle as opposed to sticking to the bottom and burning and getting all weird. It just, it works out easier. Presentation's important too. All right, let's get that a little bit hotter. Almost there. Now, so far with the recipe as it sits right here, well, that was rude. Anyway, like I was saying, with the mix we've got right here, we're looking at about 19 grams of protein, 44 grams of carbs, and 22 grams of fat. 21 of those grams of fat is coming from the nuts, and that's just on purpose because I have a lot of extra fat to eat today. But you could leave those out. You could add other things that are lower in fats. It's really up to you. At this point, once you get the pancake batter made, you can get as creative with it as you want to. All right. So I'm starting to think that's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and add about half of the mix we've got right here. Oh yeah, that's gonna add, we're gonna have two nice, thick, fluffy protein pancakes. The batter did mix up nice and thick, so I'm just spreading it out a little bit. starts to cook. I'm going to try to keep these spaced out. You don't want them all lopsided in one area, or maybe you do. Yeah, this is all about you guys. However you want to do this. I'm just giving you suggestions. But... While we're cooking these up, instead of just staring awkwardly at each other, if you have any suggestions, anything you want to see me done or do, um, if you guys are in the middle of dieting and have a favorite recipe that you're like, God, I really miss this, send me a message, leave a comment, let me know stuff you'd like to see done in the future, and I'll make it happen. I've got a ton of ideas for stuff that I'm going to be giving you guys over the next couple weeks anyway, but... I'm open to suggestions, and that's why I'm doing this. Anything you want to see, anything you guys need help with, I got you. Alright, so this guy is ready to Oh yeah. These are gonna be delicious. I wish you guys were here. These are starting to smell so good too. And there is a surprise at the end.
That guy over there is our surprise for later at the end. tell that these are going to be really filling already because the batter music just came up so thick. It's going to be so good. You guys have to let me know if you make these on your own, let me know how you like them. I'm all about the feedback because I mean, I think this stuff is great or I wouldn't be doing this, but I don't know what you guys think about it. Now the way this worked out, I made two pancakes. They're nowhere near the same size, and that's gonna happen. That's why I just took the macros for the entire batter, and I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna eat the whole thing, so it doesn't matter if one is twice the size as the other, I'm still knowing exactly what nutrients I'm getting in me. It's just, it's just one less thing I have to worry about. If I was going to make a big batch at a time and try to figure out how much a cup this is, I'm trying to keep this as simple and easy as possible. I'm not trying to drive myself crazy over this. And yes, I'm getting macadamia nuts. So good. So here we have it guys, that's my stack of protein pancakes with the macadamia nuts. And as I was talking about for the ending, I keep calling them protein pancakes and I just really threw egg whites on them. What I did was a little bit before I started filming this, I whipped up about an eighth a cup of egg whites and a half a scoop of chocolate Blackstone Labs isolation protein because what you really need with macadamia nuts is chocolate and voila. Oh yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys being here, and like I said, if you have anything you want me to try, comment, send me a message, and I will get to it as soon as I can. I'm going to go eat. Have a good day, guys.